Yeah, so I think this year has been a very important year in lower risk MDS. We had uh, an approval for the first time of a drug, Lospatercept, in the frontline management of anemia against ESA. Um, this is regardless of the patients having Rinsidroplast or not. And it's the first time that any drug beats ESA in the frontline setting. And concurrently, we have a positive phase 3 trial, the iMERGE, which showed imetilistat, which is a first-in-class uh, telomerase inhibitor, leading to transfusion independence in almost 40% uh, of patients who are heavily transfusion dependent, regardless of the ring sideroplast status after ESA failure. So this was a, a very exciting year. Uh, both of those papers were actually published in the Lancet uh, Journal. And the next step is going to be using these drugs in combination with other agents that are approved in MDS and using them in earlier phases of treatment, like the element trial I mentioned earlier, where we are using it before the patient is even transfusion uh, dependent. In high risk MDS, we have not seen as much success so far. We have, um, unfortunately, a number of negative phase three trials with magrolimab being the latest one. But next year, we are looking at two uh, very important phase three trials, uh, sabatolimab in the Simulus MDS2 and venetoclax in Verona. Those, if one of those is positive, it will change the way we manage higher risk MDS. But there is also a number of other agents that are in advanced uh, clinical uh, trials, such as Eltanexor um, and IRAC inhibitors and other CD47 agents. So I think overall the field is looking more promising for those patients and hoping 2024 is going to bring some uh, important advances in the field for higher risk MDS patients.